What's up guys, in good today. Today we'll be seeing how we can make weapon rigging for San Andreas. It's a pretty much simple process. Just have to follow what I'm doing and you can make weapons in more than, lesser than uh, 10 to 15 minutes max. So today we'll be seeing how we can do it. And the software I need is 3ds max 2012. I have cam script installed into it and I'll put up a link where you can install cam script and uh, um, just press DFF IO after you install it. Uh, right, click on import DFF hit A, input DFF once again, MP5 LNG DFF, this is the original MP5, so I'm gonna import it to San Andreas, uh, I mean 3ds Max, I'm sorry, and um, uh, you can see my model is a bit larger than the uh, San Andreas version, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale it to make it fit to San Andreas, so I hope it's uh, in the right place, yes it is, and the size is a bit large, right, so I'm a bit small, right, so I'm gonna scale it to fit, then I want to make it sure like it looks good so I'm gonna rotate it literally what I'm doing is I'm just keeping it in the right place of San Andreas so uh, I don't worry about the rotations it's pretty much simple to do it in the later part so just have to make sure that you put it in the right place first so there you go it's in the right place uh, there we go and go, go, go. So, oopsie sorry do not affect anything with San Andreas model you should not do anything with it so there you go and um, pretty much it. So that sums up uh, the positioning. And you can see my model is a bit uh, rotated out of its place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it once again. And I'm going to turn it as well. Because it does not look good. So once again I'm going to rotate it this place. And there we go. Make sure that you do anything here will exactly look in the game. So if you want to make it perfect, put up a perfect rotation like this. Not sure it's perfect anyway so so there we go so everything is in the right place once again and uh, you can see it's ready to be rigged into San Andreas so so you can see uh, the handle is in the right handle so this is where CJ or any character you have keeps their wrist at so so it's in the right place and um, yeah that's the checkpoint and we had it so now delete the original San Andreas model delete just hit delete and click on that one there are two models here so make sure you don't hit this one hit the model once delete and you can see now our model is here and another muscle texture that's called gun flash so you just have to make sure that it's uh, it's not deleted because this is how the flash comes off of your gun so so now um, the another important step forget about the gun flash is an important step so click on the sun and uh, uh, your original model and uh, on here it's uh, hierarchy so go here hit affect pivot only if you don't do this the gun won't stay in the f model's wrist it will be rather flying somewhere uh, somewhere else but you can see your model with texture in it but you cannot uh, hold the gun on your hands to make your pet hold it on the right place at the right time hit affect pivot only and uh, you can see there are three more lines here so what you have to do is right click hit move only once press F12 uh, and uh, put 0 on all the XYZ so 0 and another 0 and another 0 so I have put 0 in every place and now do the same right click rotate this time I'm going to hit rotate do the same um, 0 0 and 0 there we go so everything is in the right place uh, so if we export it like this uh, everything is in the place but if we export just uh, this you cannot see the gun flash and if you select both of them and if you hit export it won't export because there are two hierarchies there so if you try it it will say like this so for this you just have to do this uh, little thing go to graph editors new schematic view right click hit connect and drag and drop the uh, line into the uh, uh, f1.bmp or whatever your model's name is drag and drop the gun flash into it and connect them both so now this uh, thing is connected with our model so it's up to you to make it determine where is the best place to fit your muzzle of your gun so I'm gonna make it just look from the uh, there you go and it's a bit top so uh, so now it's in it's exactly the same place where 
it was before for the MP5 of San Andreas. So, since we got both of these sorted out, control A or select both and hit skip call, collision of course and hit export DFF and export it as uh, the DFF and that pretty much is yes and the model will be exported and uh, now comes the txt part it's pretty much simple to do it uh, if you just have to follow the uh, instructions it's uh, once again the easiest uh, work in the uh, uh, rigging process so uh, make sure that you, uh, you get both the DFF and txt out of the models uh, original San Andreas uh, gt3.img so you got a, tri t a txt file here right so uh, you can see there are like three textures here so uh, uh, click import and I have uh, two model uh, textures applied on my uh, three model the one is called uh, Mars and the other one is called F1.BMP the Mars is applied here uh, the Mars is applied here and F1 is applied here so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, import these two textures into TXT workshop so what I'm gonna do is um, a right click uh, or just choose import from here uh, import the uh, first texture into it and wait till it gets imported fully it might go out of response so you just have to don't rush in this process and there we go so everything is in the place the model has been imported uh, the texture has been imported so um, name it the same as it was when you try to apply it uh, apply it on uh, 3ds max so let's say for example if you have a named uh, this uh, body texture as uh, hard gay sex you just have to name the same one here and uh, that but that pretty much is gay so and um, if you have named this big boobs you just have to name it here the same so now the second one because I have applied two textures right if you don't do this the texture will either be white or it will crash your game so we have a uh, second texture here it's called Mars so I'm gonna rename it as Mars once again and everything is in the place and save the txt that is guys that is pretty much is uh, to do with weapon rigging in San Andreas if you follow this process this is pretty much a tidy and a fast process so um, make sure that you do this and uh, if you have any questions regarding this please let me know and I'll be very happy to help you guys because uh, you guys been very wonderful towards me uh, my subscribers have been increased from 100 to 116 so 60 new people have been coming in i don't know how you got here so anyways thank you for subscribing to my channel and make sure if you want to hack some models or if you want to know more about san andreas modification tutorials or any other modification tutorials i know i'll feel free to share it if i have the time to do it uh, basically on the weekend so thank you for your support guys you've been very helpful to me so uh what i'll do is uh what i'll do next is i'll uh, uh make a tutorial regarding um bug fixing for sandra's pedestrian so i already made a tutorial regarding it and i uploaded it to youtube but for some reason youtube did not accept the video and said like it was having some um whoopy doo whoopy -doo contents into it uh, basically because i'm swearing on the video uh i didn't know that it was a big issue so i'm gonna re-upload the tutorial uh, I'm, I'm gonna make a new video and uh, I'll continue with where I left off regarding the ped pedestrian rigging tutorial on the other day so guys please keep waiting I'll be I will not be taking much time regarding it and if you like my videos or if you want to know what this process please hit the subscribe button and it's on the uh, uh, it's on the uh, top of my video so if you like it please hit the subscribe or um, if you like to uh, ask questions please leave a comment and I'll be very happy to help you guys regarding it and also um, if you have uh, a feedback regarding it please message me as well all right so you guys been very helpful to me and very uh, kind to me as well so um, thank you for your support and I'll be uh, posting a new tutorial soon bye bye